I'm Suzanne Pirri of the Riaga Aff and Pinchers. We've owned them since 1997 um, and I've bred Aff and Pinchers since 1999. Currently we have nine Aff and Pinchers ranging from six months up to ten years old. We're very keen exhibitors of the Aff and Pincher and we breed them occasionally. This is Laura, she's six months old and our newest hopeful in the breed. So. Um, she made her debut a couple of weeks ago and she's had a VHC and a reserve, so we're very pleased with her. The Affen Pinch is a small breed, 9 to 11 inches at the shoulder and weigh approximately 10 to 11 pounds when fully grown. They're always black in this country, but in America you get other colours. They're a coarse coated, not a wire coated breed, but a coarse coated breed, which is very easy to care for. Affen means monkey and pincher loosely means dog, mutt, canine. They're not strictly a terrier breed, they are a pincher, which is different to a terrier. The Affen pincher is a German breed, one of the older breeds. They're not very popular in Germany now. The Germans tend to prefer the bigger Schnauzer breeds to the Affen pincher. Originally they were bred as a little farm dog, watchdog stroke, mouse, ratter. They're great watchdogs, they like to sound the alarm and let you know when there's something different going on around your property, but they will then step back and allow you or a bigger guard dog to deal with the situation they've warned you of. I think possibly you would have to be very careful with them if you keep rats and mice and small rabbits. We did have a house rabbit here at one time with the Affen Pinchers and because they were used to him they were very good with him, but if you're out on a walk and they see a rabbit, they will chase. They're not particularly good at catching rabbits, but um, I have had them catch mice and blackbirds, sadly. So they, they do still have an element of the killer instinct. They have huge personalities, great big characters for such a small breed. They have massive characters. They make you laugh every day. They're always doing something comical, something bizarre, something that you wonder how on earth they thought of that. They're just very, very entertaining little dogs. They're very interesting little dogs. They're very quick witted, quick to learn. If they do something and you laugh or people laugh, then they will do it on a regular basis just to get a laugh, really. They don't have any of the irritation and aggravations that may go with owning a terrier in that they will live happily in large groups, they get on with people and other dogs, but they have all the character that you would get with a terrier. The Affen Pinchers are good with children. I've got four granddaughters which the Affen Pinchers love very much and they get on very well with other animals. A lot of people keep them with cats and other breeds of dog, but generally they're better if they're brought up from quite a young age, particularly small children. They get a bit anxious of small children running around, probably because they're worried that they'll get fallen on or stepped on. But um, if they're used to children, they're very, very good with children. Affen Pinchers love their people. They're devoted to their family, but they're not over the top. They don't keep on wanting to be fussed and wanting attention. If they can sit with you or near you, then they're happy but they don't particularly like to be petted constantly like some um, of the other toy breeds, some of the lap dogs, but they do like to be in the same room with you. Affen Pinchers live quite happily on their own, but they're so devoted to their family, to their people, that they do live very well singly, but they are very collectible. People generally, once they've had one, they like to have a second one, so it's not many that live on their own. They're happy to be left for a couple of hours. I work five hours a morning, so mine are left every day. But it's something really that they need to be got used to from an early age. Often when people buy a puppy from me, they'll tell me that they've got a week or a fortnight off work to settle the puppy in, which 
I don't think is a good idea. I think you need to get your puppy into the routine that it's going to have for the major part of its life. And my dogs have a routine where they're left from five, for five hours in the morning. Um, so puppies going to a new home would be used to that. Affen pinchers, if they're kept fit and they're well, can take just about any amount of exercise. Mine have a good hour's brisk walk every morning to keep them fit and trim. And it's also good for them mentally to be out and about and see sights and sounds. As long as they're fit, they'll go for long walks, three or four hours. Some Affen pinchers go hill walking with their owners. And if they get a little bit tired, they're easy to tuck under your arm and give a lift for a short period of time. But obviously it's something that you do, once they're over a year old, you build up their exercise gradually. I find Affen pinchers very good off lead because they never go far. They maybe wander 10, five or 10 feet from where you're walking. I have three or four youngsters at one time and let them off the lead. They tend to run a little bit further, but they don't run away. They don't see things in the distance and disappear at great speed. They're never more than five or 10 feet from you and their recall's very good. They come back very quickly because they just want to be with their owners. They don't want to be off hunting and hairing about, really. Affen pinchers are very intelligent, yes, but whether they're easy to train or not is another matter. They're, um, as long as you're consistent and you stick with things um, and you don't let them get away with naughty behaviour, generally they learn very quickly and fit in very well with your daily routine. They're not particularly destructive, they're not really chewers, they don't steal, probably because they can't reach up onto the worktops. I expect if they were bigger and they could reach worktops then they would steal your lunch. But no, they learn very quickly, just from regular daily routine really. Affen pinchers are very food orientated, very greedy, which in many cases can be their downfall. They convince you that they're hungry and they haven't been fed and they need more treats and more treats and you find that you've got a fat aff and pincher on your hands if you're not careful, which isn't good for their physical health. It's not good for their breathing and it's not good for their joints. But it makes training them a lot easier. They would pretty much sell their souls for a treat, I think. A piece of chicken or a piece of ham and they'll do anything. They are quite playful. I wouldn't say they were the most playful of breeds. I mean, they will chase a ball a couple of times and play tuggy with you a couple of times and play a little bit with each other, but they're not ones that like to play for hour after hour playing games. A few Affen Pinchers have done agility quite successfully and a couple I know of have done obedience at a sort of lower competition level. They are very biddable and very eager to please, but their construction doesn't make them the fastest when it comes to agility, I don't think. Affen pinchers are very easy to groom. They have a coarse coat. Um, as a puppy, the coat is soft. Um, they get to about 12 weeks old and you'll start to panic because your affen pincher is going bald. Um, that's a good sign because that means the new coat when it comes through is going to be nice and harsh and coarse. Grooming's very easy, you just want to use a soft pin brush, a fine metal comb about once a week and comb them all through, especially around the face and the eyes and around the bottom. You don't want them to build up big mats which cause blockages and mean they can't go to the toilet easily. They do need an element of trimming round the ears, the feet, round the bottom and the tail, but that's something that you can either do yourself or take them to a grooming parlour to be done. They're not a hand-stripped breed like some of the coarse-coated terriers. They are very easy to groom once a week really, but the main thing is to get them used to being groomed from an early age, and then it's not an issue when they need to be groomed by a groomer. They do molt a little bit, they, they don't shed a great deal like some of the other breeds, but, but you will get hair on your clothes and on your carpets. Slipping patellas is the thing that we do test for, which is a recommendation that the club does, and all of us that breed Affen Pinchers get the patella test done. The best score is 0-0, the patella is the kneecap, 
So you go for a 0, 0 patella score, and the worst score is either 4 on one side or 4 on both sides. And you wouldn't breed from a dog with a 4. You wouldn't breed from a dog that was over a 2-2. Two, two. If you had a dog that had a 2-0, you might consider breeding that if everything else was really nice on that Affen Pincher. But really that's the only thing that we're screening for at the moment is slipping patellas. And you should ask to see copies of the certificates for both parents if you buy a puppy. Other than that, they're a very healthy breed. They're on the cusp of being brachycephalic. The veterinary school in Potter's Bar were doing some research into brachycephalic syndrome and lots of us took our Affen pinchers. When I took my nine, it was a very hot day and they did all the measurements and tests and things and said they were on the cusp of being brachycephalic. They weren't actually truly a brachycephalic breed. They don't have a very short face. In amongst all this hair, they actually have a fairly good length of muzzle and they don't have breathing problems in the hot weather. They get on quite well when the weather's hot. Obviously, you wouldn't want to leave them out in the baking hot sun, but they don't suffer breathing problems. A lot of people, when they're looking for a puppy, for some reason, want a bitch puppy. I think possibly because they feel they're going to be easier to manage. In fact, the dog puppies are much easier. They're just great characters. They don't have any of the hormone ups and downs that maybe the bitches have. So I tend to recommend, particularly first time Affen Pincher owners, have a dog puppy. And dog puppies are easier to get as well. They're not a big, strong, working breed where you would maybe be cautious of having a, a male. The males are just delightful. They're just great to live with and real characters. Some of the things you would want to watch out for is the fact that they are so devoted to their owners. So you really need to get them used to being alone for a small period of time during the day. You also find sometimes when they're young puppies, if you've got them sat on your knee or you're carrying them in your arms and somebody comes to you to speak to you, the puppy will growl. If you think that's funny, um, then the puppy will learn to growl and be difficult and they will get more and more, more difficult. The best thing to do is if your puppy growls at somebody is to put the puppy on the floor and ignore it. The puppy then will jump about asking for attention. You just ignore it until it stops asking for attention and then you can pick the puppy back up. But you must not let your puppy do something and get away with it as a puppy that you would find unacceptable in an, in an adult. Um, because they learn very quickly and it's very hard to undo a learnt behaviour. Uh, so just be mindful that, that they do make you laugh and you do think it's funny when they're a puppy, but it won't be funny when they're an adult. So nip these things in the bud straight away. Generally, just by ignoring the puppy, put the puppy down on the floor and ignore it. And that hurts an Affen Pincher far more. They're a delightful breed and they're very easy to look after. They fit into the average family home, garden and lifestyle very, very well. The only thing is you have to be very patient. They're not a breed that, that are easily come by. I think there were about 65 registered with the Kennel Club last year. We're very fortunate as a breed in that the breed is not bred by puppy farmers. So pretty much anybody you bought an Affen Pincher from is a devoted Affen Pincher breeder. And really it's just patience, but they are well worth waiting for. They are absolutely delightful. Mm -hmm.